Magna I'm on is um, propanolol for my tremor, which is for the essential tremor, which I have. It was for vertigo. So I've, I've come off of that now. Like meclizine, um, we might have different names in the US versus yeah. England. Yeah, but you yeah. had dizziness. Yeah, and I still do, but um, I saw a ENT doctor and he has asked me to come off of the medication because I was on it for such a long time and um, he wants to see what the effects will be when I come off of it. So will I still get symptoms of vertigo? I get dizziness, but I wouldn't say it's vertigo now. Um, the room doesn't spin, I just get lightheaded. I feel like my head is really full. I get so exhausted when mm. that happens. I, it's just, I, I can't do a lot, to be honest. So, so yeah. that feels like a good time to, for some people who might not know what FND is, you know, it used to be kind of a rule out diagnosis, meaning you do all these workups and if you can't find any objective evidence, then yeah. well, maybe it's, you know, psychological. So now we actually have what we call rule in criteria and the way we think yeah. about it is in two broad categories of kind of negative symptoms and positive symptoms. So in the negative symptoms, plenty of people have weakness in one limb, yeah. kind of a lack of movement. And in the positive symptoms, that's where, you know, jerking, dystonia, trouble with swallowing, dizziness, those kind of things are common. So within the negative and the positive symptoms, do you feel like you fall more in the positive side? I get a bit of both. So everything's affected on my left side. So it's almost like I feel like somebody could draw a line down the, the middle of my body and my left side sometimes feels like it's not my own. <laughs> 